Hi fans, welcome back to Last Call with Scott Hall. I'm your host, Scott Hall. Tonight it's really going to be a special night for me because this is the night that Larry Zabisco made me in Winnipeg. I didn't, I didn't know nothing, but I had to look, and that was what was changing at that time in the industry. And uh, obviously Larry didn't have to look. <laughs> well, I had to look but, for my era. But, but no, he, he, he could have buried me. A lot of guys suspect, particularly in that era, Parts Unknown, do you have any comment on that? Just say yes. Yes. Okay, oh, I want to introduce you to Dusky. Dusky Nairobi. Say hi to the fans, Dusky. Howdy. Where, where are you from there, big fella? From Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell by the hairdo. Okay, anyway, Larry, I just want to say that... Not uh, from Orlando. This, uh, this match we're fixing to watch, you know, you made me in that town and, and uh, it left a mark on me forever, <laughs> so... Well, I, I've never seen it ever. Play, please push. Please push go. Lighting is brutal. It's AWA style, all right? just one camera shoot. Oh, uh, you, you should be scared. I'm an Indian with cowboy. And I'm a cowboy with moccasins. I am scared. Oh, they hurt the fuck of my... I'm the one paying the rib. My feet are pounded. You didn't know him, Larry. So were you scared of this big guy? Hell yes, he was. I'm a big career ender, brother. You kidding me? I'm about to end your career. Well, he, he See, where you always work that style anyway, though, right? Oh yeah, I was working like that. But why you, not? A lockup's a big deal, then, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you, Drew, you concur? You made everything yes. mean something. Man, you gotta do better than that. <laughs> See, it's hard. See, what the, what people don't understand is that jerk the camera around too much. No, I'll jerk whatever part I want. You need to just understand it's real hard to watch this and film it because, like, I started getting caught up in the. And you've you never know, seen this? No, I, this is the first time ever. And this changed my life. You know, it made me realize, like, wow, this guy's a businessman. You know, he's he realizes, look at this big lug. Yeah, it's money in I, the bank. I, look at this big lug. I can dance through him with this. I'm going to make him. I make five times more than he does anyway. Who cares? Tell him he. Then I had. Then I. Sorry. Oh, I'm about parts unknown. You're about to be parts knocked out. Anyway, uh, Ledge, thanks, thanks. I never seen this. I can't wait. I, knew, I, didn't, I didn't even know it was recorded. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, it's, the lighting's brutal, but at least, at least we're both. You're a lot bigger, man. Who's that big giant next to you, man? See, we were <laughs> no, almost but, tied up. No, but see, but but like, you know, see, see how I sell it though. Like, wow! But I didn't rush you, right? A lot of guys yeah, would, a lot of guys would have rushed you these days. Maybe the crowd would, the crowd would get into it. No, I've been around some cats who move slow because they just couldn't move fast. You know, so now I'm getting to tell you what. That's a big son of a gun. How what long, year was this, Larry? <laughs> I've been in business about eight well, this months. This has to be like 80... I, ne I never would have gone to people like that these days. I don't know, 85, 84, 86. So what were you, 50 or 60? In 86. <laughs> 86, how old were you? About 22. I know, that's where all these young punks are now. They go, God, haven't you guys had enough? You know, go away, you're not pushing the young talent. No, we ain't, it's not that, it's you're, just, you're not getting over. Quit whining. If you're so good, put us out of our positions. For my personal demons that have held me down, and nobody said I couldn't work. Ledge, I love the way you milk this kind of stuff. <laughs> he milks his Drew. You've seen him before, right? He will milk. No, but he will milk the the lockup and the time. I mean, so when he finally does something, anything, I'm begging. Anything. <laughs> no, then, then it's just we haven't even locked up yet. We haven't even locked up. See, but it's like, it's kind of like a shoot. I'm getting frustrated, but you know, I was new, man. It's Larry Zabisco. Yeah, but he did right. Do you know how nervous I am? It's Larry Zabisco, man. I never, there's 17,000. I've never been in front of 500. How'd you get this spot? What was the deal? Somebody got a hurt, a hurt or something. Lance brought me up there. I mean, what, how would I know? I wasn't, I just showed up two hours early, you know? That's what, you know, I, I don't do whatever you want, man. I figured I'm doing a job right in the middle. I just went. So this is your first break, kind of? Well, no. New Japan, actually, you know, when you're really technical, 
have pushed me before, but I was so green I didn't know it. This is my first national TV. I mean, and my first match out the door is, you, know, you gotta remember, I'm traveling with Kurt, who smarted me up, and now I got Larry Zabisco, who, and they hate Larry. I mean, you know how you guys feel about him around the park? <laughs> yeah, but see, the crowd's going nuts over something simple, but now I'm pissed, so I left. Right. Now, what should I do there, Larry? Should I say hair? You don't well, say Yeah, but the crowd nah, brought but, it. No, nah, nah, but you just, I think now you just get mad at the guy. You're not mad. Come on. Yeah, I, I, if I had to over again, I wouldn't have pointed my, I'd have reached up and tried to pull you. You know what I mean? That's a, you know, that's a and Larry would have freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't have a wig on yet. <laughs> it's not a wig, right? It's not a wig. It's a wig. So I think little shit like that is sweet. I don't want to just throw it in. See, he knows I can't do anything in this, so... He's just he's real safe for Larry. I know. It's you keep me in arm bar. One wrong, good. one wrong move against Tarzan, I'll be dead. Plus, no, really. Until it went, it takes you years to get a clue. Some guys never do, but like, you remember the guys who put you over it and, and helped you. And, like Larry, you know, New Japan gave me a break. Hero Matsu, you know, got me hooked up there. Dusty started me, but I never got to be around him. But uh, Larry gave me a lot of impact, and, and you know, like Gray Wyndham and guys like that who take time out of their day. You got nerve hold on me? No, yeah, that was the third day. When the people are starting to get into it, it's, um, they want you to make a comeback, not yet. I don't know how. Oh my God. Oh, right. oh. oh that was that, that I went up good, good. I went up good for yeah. the slam, though. I didn't know that shit was coming. <laughs> I'm fucking my way. Is that my tan on? Huh? <laughs> well, I'm not the dirty. I'm not the dirty. I'm not the dirty. I do that. That's one thing that is strength that your eye is pretty hard to. I'm waiting to see how you get out of it. We might want to do this forever. Well, if you're so bad, you're fat. Why are you better for you? Oh, I see. I see really rough I see this boy. Well, I'll edit this a little bit. I know, I've got a... When's it? Let's, okay, we got to show the match. Yeah. And um, we got four more minutes, I think. Okay. Then we got to start over with the um, interview thing, right? Because that'll be the second time, right? Yeah. So, yeah see, I wasn't go. working there yet. So I'm learning then. I, I, I already got better in a few minutes. I see it when you so, And I'm not crowding you. I'm not crowding you. No, so I'm pretty green and I don't know how to do the whole Orton Murdoch. <laughs> but, you know, the Larry knew how to sell it. If, but boy, if I'd been better. Well, no, when you're doing this, you're supposed to you know, those days. No, I'm green. I know anything. But, I mean, now if I'd have known that. Whoa, 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 uh, you I, still I, got pretty high in the wrestling industry, so. Uh, yeah, I think but, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> you have to crawl before you can run. It's killing me. Not the irony. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm, he's gonna move. <laughs> Three minutes remaining. Okay, my money's on the good looking one. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, can you hear me over there, buddy? Yeah, I can hear you. It's hard for me to zoom without. Are you just mesmerized by this match? Yeah, I think the match is good. Do you remember watching this when you were little? <laughs> no, I was. No, he wasn't born yet. No, I was born. Just wow. Maybe seven or eight months. Just, he, Larry, he, basically, he just called you well, old. I don't know if that ever been heard, has it? Has no, it's... Nobody's ever no. seen this, Larry. Really. So now, this is, this is my first match ever. I'm working for Kansas City on a handshake. So it's either do jobs in front of nobody, or Lance gives me an opportunity. And I said, I, he goes, you ready to make a move, kid? I said, no, I ain't ready. He said, everybody's a shits when they start. I said, as long as you feel that way, I'm ready, man. 
Oh, and thank you to Chris Copeland for sending this. Who's that? Uh, the guy who sent me these, like, seven DVDs of, like, 20 matches on Oh, it. really? Yeah. What was your name? Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chris Copeland. No, oh, Chris Copeland. Fix it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't need to show his address. Oh, we don't? <laughs> you I'm can so, show where to I'm send sorry, stuff Chris. to. Hey, thanks, though, brother. We're going to sit here and watch him. Thanks a lot. Just missed my famous Mr. Drop. Is there any way to rewind it? Yeah, I can rewind his drop kick. Oh my god. Oh, well, good. we got the big comeback going. Oh, we're going to build it up a little bit the... so we'll be able to. No, I didn't know how to make it. Back then it was real basic. Everybody hip tossed a lot. Yeah. I mean, nobody had any moves. Oh, the missed the. He missed the drop kick. Oh, oh. Yeah, here it comes. Oh. Okay. Drop to do anything? No, just keep going. Watch it. Well, you got to. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta pop you gotta well, I'm going to show it to you. Huh? <laughs> I got you. And, and, and you know what? The funny part is, in Larry's mind, he's still in Winnipeg. <laughs> How brutal was that? He, just, he, he wouldn't have hit me anyway. <laughs> what would have been good? Get some See, that's, that's, that the way, the, that's, what, that's what a major a guys used to do when they have to do a job. They have to hurt themselves really bad first. That was selling. No rushing him or anything. No, no, no. Airplane spin. See how, see how I set Larry down? Ah, nice. Not this, a job guy would just threw up in the air. That's you know? <laughs> oh, so good. Not to hurt him. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of how I handle this. You know, Larry, Larry you're great. But I mean, I'm. I, the one thing I'm proud of is I'm not, I'm not crowning you. Yeah, yeah, you didn't do anything I put my hand up every time I talk to you. No, exactly. You mean, oh, I should have went down, I thought. I should have just staggered, right? But I didn't know. Right? It's okay. If had you not been Larry Zabisco, I wouldn't have gone down. Right? You know what I mean? The match has been going on, so it makes sense. See, that's what I mean. This, this type of spot is where I'm going to. We're, we're supposed to be beating up this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. 30 seconds remaining. Okay, who you anybody anybody who got a bet? Got a bet. Who you got? Oh wow, you got <laughs> sucks. 20 seconds remaining. I got my money on that Marlboro man. Inside my mind I oh, see Larry's, the Larry's the champion, right? What belt do you have, Larry? See now we're going for the fees in non title. Yeah, when okay, are you what when, when was the last time you had a belt? That time you bought all these belts? Mm. Ledge, you're such a mark. You didn't tell me you put your foot on a rope. I uh, didn't. So jump up like you won. Yeah. We, let's rewind. No, but let's rewind to the part where. Thank you for making me. But Larry, please explain the psychology of what's about to hit me. Go ahead. We on the one? Just to where he missed her. No, foot on a rope. Foot on a rope. Yeah. I just want to ask you your psychology of that. Okay. You know what? Because we're rolling, so I might have not get, even get, known. Tell me what. No, wait. I might have. Yes, 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 okay, now watch, watch, watch. Be quiet. See, I turn away from the ref. Turned away. Let's see. Why'd you put your foot on the ref? Oh, yeah. Well, it might have been because, because people would think the referee would stop the count, but then my foot didn't come off, and the referee didn't stop the count. So no, that's why I mean, you jumped up you know, like you I talked with parts I know about it earlier, and we actually felt that. Just in case, because a lot of the refs are just like the boys, they're green, they don't know it's not, they're, they're intimidated because, you know, you're Larry Zabisco, man, you know. Then, oh my God, who's he wrestling, the big career ender? Well, now watch, I, I hope they get in slow-mo. Look slow-mo. Well, that's just because that's how you move so Oh, <laughs> look at the height. Damn. Look at the height. Watch them always hook the leg. He hit the leg, the foot came off, so the referee can't do the pop. Yeah, I don't know if I do. Are you protecting yourself? No, he did the right thing, Larry. I think it's a mess. Oh. Uh, you know, that's a smart move. You don't know me. I, you know, you do me a favor anyway. This is McGillicuddy, or what's her <laughs> name? Anyway, lads, I want to thank you again, man. Don't worry. After that, brother, I was the king of Winnipeg. Yes, you are.